Hi, I'm Samantha Rohde from Trees for Life and I'm going to show you how to assemble a Mully Mash cattle guard. These cattle guards will help um, protect any emerging seedlings or any planted seedlings from being grazed by livestock. We want to be able to put back paddock trees in the landscape and so these are going to help um, protect them. Um, you know, these paddock trees will protect, uh, will offer your your livestock shade and shelter. Um, they just provide significant habitat for wildlife. They attract beneficial insects. Um, they attract bird life, um, and they just they look great. You know, we we need them in our landscapes. So the Mully Mesh Cattle Guards um, come as a kit, um, and in the kit you'll get these two uh, 90 degree bent panels. Um, you'll get the two star droppers that are generally 1.8 high um, and you'll get a, a 15, min, 15 metre length of uh, barb to wrap around. Um, so in that um, I will begin the construction of the Mully Mesh Cattle Guard to show you how to do it. Uh, the first step in putting up your Mully Mesh Cattle Guard once you've planted your seedling uh, is just to locate where you're going to put your star droppers in. Um, so if you stand your stand your mesh panels up um, around it, um, they've got the spikes on the ends that need to be pressed into the ground. Um, so if you put them at the at the corners with the dropper facing out, um, and then these can be knocked into the ground. So I use a uh, two mil tie wire um, just to join these. Um, and I'll put three on today on each corner, but you can use five. It just depends on um, the livestock pressure you think it's gonna um, be under. So there's your, your Mally Mesh cattle guard all joined and anchored. Um, and what we'll do now is just put the, the barb wrapped around it. Some people prefer not to put barb on. Um, I do put it on. I think it just helps to hold the guard together a bit better and it is recommended. Um, but some people think it encourages like scratching. Uh, so yeah, do as you will um, with it. But yes, I would recommend it. So I'm just going to start at the top and just slowly sort of pull it tight as I go and wrap it around. I'm the end of my 15 metres um, and I'm just wrapping it around down here just to tie it off. So as you'll see um, they're sort of a bit loose there so I just go around with a um, netting clips and applicator just to um, finish that off and make sure that they don't you know, that nothing gets caught in there. So some people um, have noticed that sheep, lambs, can get their heads stuck in, um, in the grids. Um, generally, I don't think that happens, but if you are running both cattle and sheep, um, just be aware of the fact that you might need to just make a regular run through or uh, put some netting around the base of them just to stop that happening. 